are here. It is pumpkin month and we have another great recipe on the deck for you guys today. We're actually going to make two things. So let me get my uh, technology up here. We are going to make a pork pumpkin chili today and we are going to make a pumpkin cider cheese dip. Oh my gosh, how yummy does that sound? Yes indeedy. So get you guys up here and I will be ready to go. Uh, I'm going to take a second there to get you up, but I will get you up here in a second. So I have started, I'm going to make a pork pumpkin chili, and then uh, we are going to make uh, the cheese dip, like I said. So I'm going to get started. I have the pork that I started here in the pan just to get it browned up a little bit before you guys got here. So I was ready to go. And then I'm going to add, start with um, the onion in that. So I'm going to put a little onion in there and let it start to get softened up. So I was prepared today, have everything chopped a little ahead of time. We up live there, sir? Mm -hmm. I'm looking for my people on Facebook. I have an assistant, uh, I don't see it there, coming up. Facebook? Mm -hmm. Yeah? I don't know, we're not going to come over here and see if you can get me up so I can see my, com my comments here. Okay, in go the onions. I'm going to get those in there. I'm actually du uh, doubling the inspiration recipe that I am using today because you know it's COVID cards night, so I need more chili to feed the crew. So in the onions there, I am going to also add garlic, and this is probably about six cloves because I, you know, love garlic. You can never have too much. So I've got that going on in there. The garlic and the onion. With the meat there, well, the meat has been in there just a couple of minutes while I was waiting for you guys. So then I'm going to add to that, um, make sure I do these in, in order here, so when you guys read the recipe, it's in order too. So a little bit of red pepper flake. As you know, we like things spicy around here. So I'm going to put a little red pepper flake in there to help season the meat. And then I am going to, I have here um, one red pepper, went to the farmer's market this morning and they were so um, delicious. The peppers looked beautiful. So I have one red pepper in here and then I roasted a poblano, one green poblano, one red po poblano. And so how I roasted them, I um, put them on the open flame here until the skins were charred black. And then I put them in a brown bag, so I left this out. So you can see how I um, get them cooked. So char the skins till they're black on all the sides, put them in a brown bag, close it up and leave it for like 10 to 15 minutes and the um, pepper will soften up. And then we, um, I can peel the skin off. The skin just peels right off and then we are um, good to go. So I just thought I would show you that on how you roast a pepper, how I do it. So here we go. That's going in. Looks like what am I side? Am I sideways? Facebook today. My Facebookers. Am I sideways? You need to turn it, Rex. I I have to restart it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to. So here we go. How do I make it not sideways? Hold on. Technical difficulty here. I have my assistant di uh, director helping me today. I don't know how to make it not sideways. Uh, well, so you want to take it at, uh, out of the mound? Hold on a second, Instagrammers. We're trying to get our Facebookers back back on here. So we we're having some. Technical challenges. You get it up? Go back. Hold on a second. Okay. There we go. Looks like we're back in business. Okay. Sorry about that interruption. You watch this one on YouTube at Ventura Real Estate, and we will cut that little segment out. Okay. Back. So our pork and our peppers, my two roasted pe uh, peppers I've got in here, and the onion and the garlic. 
But I just thought um, with the one fresh red pepper that we would, um, that the two roasted peppers would add just a, a little more flavor in there. So that is why I put those in. So I'm going to let those cook for a second. And then I'm going to put our seasonings in, uh, in these because I always like the seasonings to get in there while the onion is breaking down. So let me measure these. I'm going to put two teaspoons of chili powder. So how are you guys on this Saturday? And I'm going to put a little more because, like I said, I am doubling the, re the, re the recipe about. So we're going to use all the rest of that one, chili powder in. And then the cumin. There we go. Hey, Jill, are we back in business here? My assistant director is shooting the show for me today. My main squeeze director, all around grip, is in a golf tournament today. But the show must go on. So I've got, uh, let's see, I'm going to put two teaspoons of cumin in here. Oh my gosh, it smells so good already. The peppers and the onions and the garlic. Oh my goodness, yummy. And then we are going to put some, um, two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. Yum, to go with our pumpkin, with our chili. So let's put a little bit of, ooh, pumpkin pie spice in there. Yummy. Look, we have pumpkin month all month and it's starting to get down. I'm almost going to have to make some more of our homemade pumpkin pie spice. Because it's getting um, down to the bottom there. Okay, there's my sister. Hey, sister and Jill. Rex is shooting the show today, so we are back in business. And I'm putting a little bit of this chipotle chili pepper um, in there just because I love it. It is so good. It's, it has the best flavor. Um, so I'm putting that in there too. And um, I'm going to let that go for a second while I start our cheese dip, our um, pumpkin cheese dip. Because you know around here, uh, we love cheese dip, any kind. So this one sounded really good, pumpkin cheese dip. So I'm going to heat up my pan here. Now I already cooked um, actually six strips of bacon. The recipe called for four, but I think we needed six. Uh, so I got them browned and out of the skillet, and then I'm going to make a little gravy here. So I'm actually, I strained the bacon grease because I'm like, why would I use butter? The recipe calls for butter, but I think I'm going to use a little bit of butter just because of what the recipe says, but then I'm going to use the bacon grease. So I'm going to put a little bit of butter in here because I mean, it's cheese dip after all. How much, you know, grease do we need? But here's the bacon fat that I strained out and then strained out the pieces of bacon. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that in there. So this is, you know, our locale <laughs> cheese dip. <laughs> so I'll get that going here and get that melted down. And then I'm going to throw in two tablespoons of flour that I already measured out. There we go. Ooh, yes, yummy, huh? The butter and the flour. And I'm going to make that into a little roux here and let that cook up a little bit. And then the recipe called for a hard cider, but I'm actually, I didn't have one, so I'm going to use just the spiced cider from Trader Joe's, because that's what, what I had. It called for 12 ounces, so I'm using 8 ounces of spiced, just apple cider, and then I just put a little water in there, because I didn't want my cheese dip to be too sweet. So I'm going to throw this in here, and uh, I'll put the garlic in next, getting ahead of myself here. Put the garlic in and let that get going. Oh my gosh. This recipe just looked great. And garlic, cider, cheese, pumpkin. Yum! Hey Mo, how are you? Hey look, oh, I got yours in my hand here. Yours is in the chili pot, Mo, your spoon. Okay, so to this I'm gonna start and put in here our liquid which is our spice cider with a little bit of water. Hey, Instagram, we're sorry I'm getting out of your frame here. Stay standing here. And I'll get this mixed in. And let that start to warm up a little bit. And you know what, I think I need to open another can of pumpkin, actually. I need another one. 
I'm going to have to use my set here because, you know, we got pumpkin everywhere around here. Okay, I'll open that because I'm going to need um, more pumpkin for this one. Okay, we can use a can of pumpkin in our chili too. Hey Florence, hey Lori, how are you girl? We're making pumpkin chili, pork chili today and cheese dip, pumpkin cider cheese dip. So I've got my cheese dip going here. I'm going to get a whisk. I'm going to whisk this up a little bit and get that starting to make a roux with our cider and our flour and our butter and of course our baking grease because yummy on the baking grease. I love your DMs. You guys are DMing me with all the things when you make them, so I love it. Please send me your foot, your your photos and your comments when you um, are making things here on Pumpkin Month. Oh wait, I forgot my forgot my costume here. Pumpkin Month, and I have my pumpkins on. Okay, back to my chili here. Let's make sure I got it all going on. Get it all in there. I get sidetracked trying to talk to you guys, especially when I'm making two things. Okay, so now. I'm going to add the beans. Now I picked, pick the beans you like. If you like kidney beans, white beans, cannelli beans, whatever is your pleasure. I'm going to use a can of white beans. I'm using what I have, COVID cooking. So I had a can of white beans. I've drained them and rinsed them off. There's so much salt in these, I rinse them off because of that. A can of pintos going in. And then a can of chili beans, which I did drain the chili beans going in. So three cans of beans. Now, if you don't like chili in your, I mean beans in your chili, then skip the beans. And then I have a can um, of diced tomatoes here and a can of Rotel that I um, zhuzhed a little bit with the immersion blender because we don't like chunks around here. So this is just a can of tomatoes and a can of Rotel. Spun up a little bit. Turn that down. Put this in. Oh my goodness, yum. This looks so good. Uh, so we're going to put our pumpkin in. So let me get this going on here. So I got a can of pumpkin going in. This recipe actually called for turkey, but I'm using pork because I thought you know, pork is the other white meat. And I just thought it would be, be yummy with pork. Little bigger chunks than the turkey, but if you want to make it with turkey, hey, Whatever you got, use it. Use it. So let's mix that in. Oh my goodness. Yummy. Oh my gosh, those roasted ch chilies, it makes such a difference to roast the chilies um, before you use them. But that's why I'm using both. I've got the red, the chunks of red. Instead of tomatoes, it's red pepper. But then the roasted chilies, hey Mo. Here's your spoon. See my GaryandLisa.com spoon. Kiss the cup. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Now we're going to let that go for a second here, our chili. And I'm going to put a little pepper in there. And then I have a little chicken stock. It called for some chicken stock. I'll see um, once this gets to, together here if it, if it needs some more liquid. But I didn't want to um, open a whole can for half a cup of chicken stock because, you know, what are you going to do with the rest of the can? So I just took some bouillon and just made some. So, you know, you do what you gotta do, right? Okay, back to the cheese dip here. So I've got that stuff in there. And then I am going to put the pumpkin in that. So about half a cup of pumpkin going in our dip, our cheese dip. This is, I got that pl plenty warm here. And then our cheese dip, in goes the pumpkin. I think this is gonna be so good. And we get that pumpkin incorporated into our roux here. Oh my gosh. It smells yummy. Yummy. I mean, who would think of that? I love looking at all these recipes. Hey, Janet, how are you? And finding cool ones like this. Pumpkin hard cider cheese dip. Uh, yeah. Okay, pumpkin is in. We're going to put a little mustard in, which I had out here. Here we go. And some Worcestershire char. So I'm going to put a couple shapes of Worcestershire in here. I'm actually going to put a couple in the chili too. Because <laughs> why not? A little bit of mustard. 
and just a teaspoon. So I'm going to do a little shake, you know, but pardon me, but do you have any great Poupon who's old enough to remember that? And what kind of car were they in in that commercial? Because my people know these important things. Hey, Erin, how's the birthday girl? What did you guys do for your birthday? Do you see? Erin got the dish I made on Wednesday night, that goat cheese pumpkin pasta dish. OMG. What did your boys think of that? John was very excited. <laughs> oh. Okay. So, oh my gosh. That smells good. Okay, so we have. I want to get everything in here before I put my um, some salt in, before I put the cheese in and get it all melted. So okay. half a teaspoon of salt going in. Cheese has a lot of salt, so you could salt very lightly until you're sure. My pumpkin pie spice, quarter te teaspoon. Of course, that one will fit in the jar. Oh, no, it won't. So quarter teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. Put that in there. And then we've got cream cheese going in next. Okay. And then we're going to put the cheese cheese in here. So, oh, a little pinch of cayenne. Let me get, get, make sure I got it all in here. And then we're going to put the cheese. Cayenne, a pinch of cayenne. I might put a heavy pinch in. We are making pumpkin pork chili today, and I'm also making pumpkin hard cider cheese dip. So I will put a pinch of cayenne in the cheese dip, and then my cheese I've got going on here, because it was Friday, that's right Carol, you got that one right, the Rolls Royce, that's right. Um, we actually made queso here, last night we made queso fundido, Friday night, and so I have a little of my favorite queso fundido cheese, the Oaxaca, um, on top here because it was left. And I've got some cheddar, and I've got some Colby cheddar. I just took what I had, grated it all, and here we go. Cheese dip cheese going in. So I'm going to put about three, three cups of cheese in. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. And then, I think that's about three cups. I'm going to keep some of this that's grated to go on top of the chili when I serve it tonight. So let's mix that in. And this um, cheese dip, going the wrong way here so you can see me. Hold on. My Instagrammers can see me. You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to move the big kahuna back there so I can stand here for my Instagrammers. Um, this cheese dip, you can serve it with um, like raisin bread or apples, of course crackers or maybe pita chips. I was going to get some... Um, the bread place in the farmer's market. I bought a beautiful loaf to go with the chili tonight, a jalapeno cheddar sourdough, OMG. And they had a special Halloween bread that was seasonal that had pecans and raisins and I guess um, butternut squash in like a brown bread that I was gonna get to serve this with because the recipe called for raisin bread, but they were out of it. What a drag. So, but that our idea is to have something different to serve with this dip. So this looks and smells amazing. And the chili's going on back there. I think it is going to need our chicken stock. It looks very thick. But oh my gosh, this is just coming together like heaven here. And then when I serve it, we will crinkle the bacon on top. Yum! And this will be delicious. So hold on a second, I'll show you this. Just wait for that cream cheese to incorporate. And I took the cream cheese out of the refrigerator at least over an hour ago. So it would get um, warmed up. Because cream cheese mixes together much better into things when it's room temperature. So, oh my gosh, this looks amazing. So let me just taste this real quick for salt and flavors. Oh my goodness. Yep. Kind of like I kind of like it sounded. Delicious. OMG. Let me bring it over here. It's gonna be hot. And show you guys. 
this delicious pot of yumminess. Look at that. Oh my gosh. See, it looks like cheese dip, but surprise, it's got pumpkin in there. Oh my gosh, de delicious. So to serve this, I'm gonna crinkle some bacon on there. which I cooked in the same pan before you guys got here. And we will crinkle this on top. Oh my goodness. Yum! That look good. <laughs> oh my gosh. This looks delicious. So, that is our pumpkin. Now I was going to cut up one of these sugar pumpkins here. One of these. and cut it into pe to pieces and throw it in the chili, which I still might after you guys are gone, but I just didn't have time to do that before you guys got here because I was doing my other job, my real estate job, and so I didn't get to this as soon as I would have liked to. So anyway, that's another thing you could do for the chili is to cut up and put some butternut squash or some regular pumpkin in there. <laughs> I know, a bunch of bacon, I had to buy more. Because we used a pound of bacon, um, at least, on that pasta dish on Wednesday. And then today we have bacon on this too. This recipe called for four slices, but of course you know I used more than that. <laughs> because, you know, you can never get enough bacon. Oh, yes, yeah, true. Carol, that's a good idea. She said you could use the bacon to dip in it. Yeah, you know what? Let's try that. Because, you know, that sounds good. Do you want to try it, Rexy? My cameraman today? Oh my gosh, that's delicious. And I can see um, why they uh, suggested you serve this with raisin bread, because that would just be, I mean, a whole nother layer of yummy for this cheese dip. So let me reach off my hands real quick and we'll do our birthday shout outs. Oh my goodness. Let me grab my birthday shout out hat here. Hold on a second. Get organized. Okay. Here we go. Do, do, do. Oh wait, I changed my my costume here. Do, 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 do. Birthday shout outs. There's none today. Anybody have your birthday today? That is not on my birthday list. Um, but Monday, coming up on Monday, it is Pastor Becky's birthday. Do, 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 do. Becky's birthday on Monday. So happy birthday to you, dear friend. She has been a guest on the show. We did Louisiana favorites, her family favorites. So Becky Fuquay, happy birthday to you, dear. And then it is also Katie Patelzik's birthday on Monday. So happy birthday to you. Um, and you know, we love to celebrate your birthdays. So if you don't have your birthday listed on Facebook and I don't know, know it and you want a birthday shout out, make sure you get it to me and I will give you a birthday shout out. So our giveaway today, I was in the cute, cute store called Nash that's over by um, Cronies on Johnson and Ventura and it is the cutest store and I found these and I had to buy them because you know we're in pumpkin month so I was doing pumpkin themed get, get, uh, giveaways, but I just had to buy these. So our giveaway today is so darling, and I just had to laugh because the number one thing that people say to me that they love about the show is the opening dancing. So it just cracks me up. They love my laugh and they love my dancing, and that's what I get comments and DMs about. So our giveaway today is this kitchen is for dancing. So you get one of these, you're gonna to have to be dancing in your kitchen too. So these are so cute. So they say this kitchen is for dancing. So that is our giveaway today. So you will always think of me when you get your sign. And if you have liked or commented on these videos on YouTube, Ventura Real Estate, they're all edited with cool graphics that Gary does on our YouTube channel. Please go and subscribe because we're trying to get to a thousand. And then if you comment on Facebook, um, or you've liked or commented, you are in the fish. So, let's see who my winners are today for your kitchen. is made for dancing, right? Let me get my music back on. So let me see. Do, do, do. Lisa Anglin, your kitchen was made for dancing. Winner, winner. Wonder what she's up to. She's been doing the blood drive this week like she does twice a year, February and October. 
So she's been busy. She had a blood drive in Ventura and a blood drive in Thousand Oaks this week. So I know she had a busy week. And Claudia Galgi, you are my winners of my, my dancing signs. So I will get those off to you guys. And we appreciate you guys watching. And remember, there's only two things you can control, your effort and your attitude. So always pick a good one and always do your best. And we appreciate you watching and being here live. We love it when I can see your comments. Um, if you have any pumpkin recipes, we only have a couple more pumpkin days left. So be sure to send them to me if you have a favorite pumpkin dish you want to share with everyone. I would love to. And then I'm starting to work on Thanksgiving. So if you have fun, delicious, family favorite Thanksgiving or holiday sides that you always make that are a hit with the whole family, um, please send me those because I'm starting to plan out the shows for the holidays. And we look forward to seeing you. Remember, visit us at GaryAndLisa.com for real estate. If you know anybody that wants to list their house, we're licensed in the whole state of California. But Ventura County is closest to us. So visit us at GaryAndLisa.com. And we would love to talk to you about real estate. It is crazy out there right now. Um, interest rates at all-time lows. And it's a great time to be a seller. So um, we love to talk about real estate. Call us. We'll see you soon. We're here live Wednesdays and Saturdays. Thanks for watching.